There are people that can help you. That can get you on your feet. They are on their feet. What they need is a bath. Hi everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time here on my channel, what's up, how's it going? If this is not your first time here on my channel, welcome back. All right, so before I say what movie that we are watching, I mean, you already know what movie I'm watching because obviously you clicked on the video, but then, you know, I'm gonna pretend like there's a little bit of suspense. There was a little bit of a switch up with this movie. I put up a poll, I don't know, a couple weeks ago asking, uh, you know what, I'll just tell you. For today's video, we are watching VHS 94. Okay, so I put up a poll asking out of the remaining VHS movies that we have not watched yet, which was the one that people really, really liked, which is the one that people wanted to see me react to. After I watched part one and part two, everybody was saying, I want to say it's viral. The vast majority of you, I think it, we're talking maybe a handful of people said that they enjoyed the movie, but almost everybody else was like, it is horrible. Don't watch it. Telling me that a movie is horrible undoubtedly means that I'm going to watch it because that's my gig. But VHS 94 is the one that won that poll in regards to the switch up. If I remember correctly, because you know, I got like the memory of a goldfish. It was in my November live stream that I mentioned that I wanted to do Thanksgiving. I wanted to do It's a Wonderful Knife, but obviously with the Thanksgiving thing. That ain't happening right now, given, you know, all the controversy. And it was supposed to be It's a Wonderful Night that I was going to react to today. However, the audience just really isn't there. I'm still going to watch it. I'm most likely going to watch it on Patreon. But, you know, I examined to see other people that have reacted to it. And it doesn't really seem like there's a crazy ton of people that are seeking out reactions to that movie. But y'all have been harassing me for like the last almost year, however long it's been since I've done part two. You guys have been asking me for VHS. So I'm doing VHS instead. With this movie, obviously we know it's an anthology movie. We know with VHS 1 that I almost was put six feet under with that movie. If you have seen my reaction to that movie, then you know what I'm talking about. That movie scared I mean, oh, it was a lot. Then VHS 2 also scared the hell out of me. Not as bad as the first one. Like I thought it was still very well done. It just didn't scare me the same way as the first one. It did scare me though. Like I remember uh, the alien one. I think that was part two. Yeah, you know, with the kids and the, the dog and, and the things under the, y'all know I don't deal with ocean stuff. Like uh, it was like under the lake. I don't know. Now let's see, I want to look this up. Obviously not like the plot details, but I'm curious because obviously with, at least with the first two, each segment was directed by a horror director. Okay, Ryan Prowse, I have never heard of him, but also he doesn't have a Wikipedia page, so I don't know. Simon Barrett, he did the 2016 Blair Witch, which I watched, uh, like I thought that was fine. Oh, and apparently he is the writer on the upcoming Godzilla Kong, The New Empire, which I'm stoked to watch. I also want to watch that other new Godzilla movie. Jennifer reader. I have not heard of her and I have not seen anything that she's done. Although this says like on her Wikipedia page, it's under the C also it says list of LGBT related films directed by women. So maybe the, her little segment is, you know, Timo, Timo. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Oh, this person did something in the second one. Segment Safe Haven. Oh no, no. Safe Haven was the one with the demon and the school and the, and the little kid. Oh no. Oh no. Now here's one. Chloe Okuno. I assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. <sighs> she directed Watcher. If y'all have not seen Watcher, like make it a priority. It is one of my favorite movies that I have seen within probably the last 15, 20 years. Every single frame of that movie can literally be like screenshot and framed and put on the wall. It is disgustingly beautiful. Oh. Okay, and just go watch it. I don't want to give you any more nothing. Just go go watch the movie. If you'd be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button, this way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I have like a lot of hand work going on right now. If you're interested in what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Instagram and Twitter slash X. And if you are interested in seeing more content from me, you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of full length reactions, movies and TV shows, like 200, we're on like 200 plus at this point. So there's a lot of content. You should check it out. Without further ado, let's get into VHS 94. What is this? What is she breathing? Ew, why is her hand wet? What is that? Snot? Eight, seven, six. 
What is she counting down to? Or maybe she's just like, maybe she's counting down to the first segment. She just shows up between just to do a countdown. Say hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Bob says that droopy shit from the van is a monster in the compound. Did he say there's a monster in the compound? Is this like is, is the, the old school VHS look with the line at the bottom? I really hope that that's not going to be there the entire time because it's very annoying. Oh, they're at like a radio station? Wait a minute. So they're like cells that have TVs and couches in there? Hey, I know this guy. Ugh. He owns the video store on my block. <laughs> not anymore. Sprayberry, we found some of that goopy shit from the videotape. We've also got a 419. Goopy. Oh, okay, so this isn't like the first segment. This is like the in-between. Okay, that was very confusing with the opening thing. Oh yeah, because that's the room that she was in. in the, okay, yeah, that's a little confusing to me. ...and can access the net for a modest monthly fee. Okay, interesting transition there. Residents have come forward with stories of a mysterious figure they're calling the Rat Man. The Rat Man? Eyewitnesses have said that this man, or man-animal hybrid, lives in the sewers and comes out at night. But if you shine a light directly at it, it suddenly disappears. Channel 6's Holly Marciano has more. An urban legend, or is there really a creature of unknown origin lurking within the sewer? Y'all, I've been telling y'all this uh, for years at this point about the alligators. No, oh no, they live down there. They live down there. I'm not kidding. They live down there. Look it up. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the rat man looks like. <laughs> Who drew that? Her crazy ass cousin was in there, an escape mental case. Oh, and he lives in the sewer so that nobody can find him. Is it the cousin? That literally sounds like exactly what they're describing. Where did you first see him? Right there. Behind me. That's where I saw him. Not the right automatic weapon he's holding. Okay, we're done. This is very much where I grew up. This is very Midwest. Jesus, Barry, what, what does he want us to do? Walk through raw sewage? Are they really going to tell her to walk through the sewer? Well, yes. <laughs> Oh, so this takes place in Ohio. Okay, well, that explains why it looks like the Midwest. This is the remarkable story of the Rat Man. It's a mystery that can only be told inside the cavernous tunnels beneath our feet. I'm Holly Marciano, Channel 6 News. What was that? Construction? Let's go again. Yeah, going again. Construction? Did she forget about the literal news story that she's reporting on? Are you even... What are you doing? No, no, no. What? what? There. Seriously. What? Oh my god. Ew, you're just like walking into the dookie sewer. Ugh. What is it, like a homeless person or something? Ugh. How do you even exist smelling that much crap all the time? Hey, don't you want to do something that will make a difference, Jeff? Help you get your Pulitzer, right? This is what we're talking about. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I'll explore abandoned houses, mental hospitals. I'll do all of that. You will never catch my ass walking around in the damn sewer system. That's disgusting. What is that? What the f is that? Is that a person? That was creepy. Don't look at me. Look you. This me where he lives. Really? So <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack, Holy f Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. Hello. What is that? We're, we're, we're friends, we just... Is that even a human being? That looks like a person in one of those body morph suits and she's just f***ing talking to it. Oh, oh no, he's just really dirty. Okay, never mind. Bill. Bill. Bill Compton? Oh, I'm going to leave you my business card. Oh, my she left the business card. He looks like he's been rolling around in tar, but she left him a business card. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> Holly? How did he lose her? They had only went around one turn. <laughs> what was that? I hate you guys. I hate you guys. Oh shit. Y'all have been abducted. Well, that'll teach you next time before you try walking around in poo water. There are people that can help you. They're gonna get you on your feet. They are on their feet. What they need is a bath. How would you help? 
Oh. Who is this now? Is this the rat man? That's a very generous offer. But we're going to tell our own story. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? Come on. Come on. What is it? Uh, come on. Like, he's talking to a cat. What the f*** is that? It's got like a long alien looking head. In the name of Ratma. Ratma? What was that? Like acid? It's time to see if you're welcome in the new world. It's like hard to hard to see. Ew. And it's like, ew. Uh, it's like furry in the back. <laughs> Ew, that's nasty looking. What is it doing? It's like drooling on her? Is it puking on her? What? Just mash and enjoy. Ugh. The from Wonder Health, you can what the f***? That's the end of the story? The Veggie Masher from Wonder Health, a subsidiary of Megatech Pharmaceuticals. Four payments of $39.95. For that, no man. Following her incredible rescue after she got trapped in a storm drain. Oh, she lived. Oh. She looks out of it. Is she like cultified now? No better way to kick off the season than with Westerville's 94th annual pumpkin festival. People are already lining up to Ratma the Hay Rides, Apple Ratma, and of course, to see who will be crowned the festival's largest Ratma. I heard that, right? Okay, why don't we cut to commercial? Oh! Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Damn, on live television. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Bitch, not the hair flip she did at the end. <laughs> what? Oh, that took me out. That was too funny. She said. <laughs> Fourteen. Are those people or are those mannequins? No, those are mannequins. For what? Like, why would you not call back up? What is, what is impeding you from doing that? I like how they're transitioning into the actual, each clip. It's very creative. The main point is we never question the request of the client. If the bereaved family wants to include footage of the wake in their memorial video, we are happy to oblige. I assume they're paying extra for this. That also, yes. It amazes me that people have to pay for a funeral. Like, this just seems so scummy to me. When I die, cremation. I want to be cremated and I want my ashes to be spread across Chris Evans' front lawn. That's it. The deceased was in a severe accident. It is a closed casket wake. I was more or less able to get him back into his original shape. Pity about his face and head. But the family wanted him put back together, and aside from that top part, I'd say it's pretty good work. So there's just like a headless corpse inside the casket? Well, sort of, kind of. He's awake. He's not going anywhere. Maybe they got caught in the storm, or maybe nobody likes him. Oh, they're waiting for the family to show up? Okay, gotcha. I thought they were just like practicing something. That's never a good sign. The fuck is that? No one's here and I'm working all night. She's working all night? Hopefully that means till like seven o'clock or something. Like this isn't like a 24 hour funeral home. What was that? What was that? No, he's moving inside the coffin. Would you mind checking the obituary page in the last few issues for a guy named Andrew Edwards? So she wants to know how he was killed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! There was something standing there, I feel. I feel like I saw something in the back, like peeking around the corner. I mean, of all candles for them to have, they have like the f***ing creepy gothic looking candles. If the power went out, she was planning on hosting the wake in the dark by candlelight. What? Oh, it's like moved. But I don't understand, like, why would you stay in the room with the casket in the first place if you're waiting for them? Wait until they get there before you head into that room if it's creeping you out. Out. I would be gone. I would be gone. I would be at, gone. Gone. Three counties over by this point. Absolutely not. That body in that casket is not capable of moving. It's just gases escaping or one of the other hundred chemical processes that can happen with embalmed remains in the first 96. So, cool question. 
gonna have to let him take a peek. God, with the gases that escape my body while I'm alive, I can only imagine what it would be like when I die. Ew. No, 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 no. Of course, I understand very few could make it out in this storm. There's a tornado watch. But they had it at night? Like, is that a thing that people do? They have wakes at night? Aren't wakes normally at like 10 or 11 a.m.? Are you family or? What the f Wait, she's walking around. She didn't have any shoes on. She's hosting a wake and she doesn't have any shoes on. Also, I feel like it was him that I saw peeking out from behind the corner because they had like a coat on, I feel. I like to flip through the tribute for Andrew Edwards, but I didn't need to look at the obituaries. He was on the front page. For what? What happened? The name of the guy who jumped off the roof of that church and then he hit the concrete steps right as families were beginning to show up. <sighs> you know, that's a day that those kids will never forget. Trauma. Hello? Bitch, you need to vacate the property. No, this job is not worth your life. Leave. Break the window. Break the glass. I don't care. Break the glass. Y'all can bill me. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not even supposed to have a fucking head. Mr. Edwards? She said, Mr. Edward, she's calling out for the corpse. <laughs> You've been in an accident, okay? And she's just, she's talking to it. The more... Oh no! Get flee. Like half of the head is missing. It's like missing like this. The hand. Just, it's just chilling on its own. Is that the top half of his head? What the, what are those, uh, is that like tornado sirens? She's gonna deal with a zombie and a tornado? It's really not her night. Damn. Oh, so like they fully got hit by a tornado. Is she dead now? So she just wandered away. That one was okay. I feel like it had uh, the potential with a good premise, but I don't know. It didn't really go anywhere. See, now it's giving like stranger things. Definitely not self-inflicted. We don't need more tech. We need a grave digger. The way he delivered that line. We don't need another tech. We need a grave digger. <laughs> Calm down. You're being a little extra. Oh, <laughs> Right now. All right. Okay, this seems like we're, this is a saw trap. <laughs> what the f is that? What was that? That looked like the damn thing from Toy Story. June 12th, 1994. Could not adapt to his given enhancements. Failure, just another failure. August 1st, 1994. Success isn't a far reach, it seems. I believe the key is to preserve the lobus something and occipital of the brain. Should I be watching my occipital lobe? Your what? Occipital. The back of my brain, should I be watching the back? <laughs> 099 Dengan hati-hati saya akan coba menyelamatkan I'll preserve her lobus tissue. They're taking parts of their brain out. Oh no. Oh no. How come in these movies when they're always doing like uh, impromptu surgeries and stuff like y'all couldn't have rented out an Airbnb to do this or something like this or go to a hotel. Y'all always have to do this in the most grimiest dirtiest places you can find. So she's dead, right? Because he just took out her full ass brain. I'm gonna need you to fight a little bit harder. Did he have to stick the needle in his face like that? I don't think so. Finally. What did he do? Happy born day, child. Well, I don't know what that means. Happy born day. I mean, obviously it's like birthday, but like, I don't know what he's talking about. Your new eyes, what it sees. 
Go be a mlet go. Is he with cameras and the eyeballs? Wasn't that the thing in the second one? The guy had like some weird haunted eye or something where he could like see ghosts. That was it was like a cybernetic eye or something. Female subject 99 proves that human and machine could indeed be unified. The female is that the, the one that he took her brain out? She's still alive? Oh yes. Rasa sedih, takut, bingung. Jangan. Uh, I would be freaking out too if I fucking woke up in what looks like John Kramer's basement. Oh, her stomach is like cut open. And she's missing a hand. So what is he like doing? Is he just like cutting people up and making cyborgs and stuff? I don't know what he's talking about with Da Vinci. <laughs> I have no idea. Educate me. Because I genuinely don't know. What the f is that? What is this with the giant blade? Tensions rose when locals found mutilated body parts at the canals of Jakarta. Someday in Jakarta, I, American, I'm just, sorry. Gaga. A genius pioneer in the field of mechanical prosthetics, that would be him, became a suspect after his patient's disappearance. Police are still searching for the latest mis- oh, so, uh, well, I mean, we Ben knew that he's crazy, but like, this provides a little bit more context. <laughs> is that supposed to be the sound of her crying? Ooh. She said you better cut it out. Good for her. Unstrap yourself and get out of that shit like the bionic woman and be like. Have you watched that show, The Bionic Man, The Bionic Woman? Oh, love that show. Wretched failure. I think she's gonna fuck him up. And she should, honestly. What is this all about? Make sure you're I was about to ask if he was holding a video camera. The guy with the camera is just like... He was gagged. He had no idea that was happening. Our mission is to rescue survivors. Well, y'all need to go over there and check on the gurney because Vision Jr. over there, I don't think it's looking too good for her. It was bad for her. It was really bad for her. What does she look like? I want to see. I hope she looks like really cool, but I feel like she's probably gonna look disgusting and frightening. <laughs> Probably, considering he looked at her and started vomiting. I can relate. <laughs> what is wrong with her head? Like, I want to see it. <laughs> she's about to annihilate all of them. Look, she's a poor thing. She's literally saying, stop. That's the missing girl. Yeah, exactly. She needs to get up and beat the shit out of them because they're about to kill her. Although from the sound of it, her life probably isn't going to be what she wanted it to be. <laughs> John. Where did that Why monster go? Oh my god. The way it was like back crawling. <laughs> Y'all need to get out then. Oh shit. So he had that shit rigged in case y'all showed up. Okay. This idiot just ran into the door. <laughs> But he wasn't even standing that far away from the door more than, I mean, there was the guy that was in front of the door, but it's weird that the person got like completely obliterated. This other one is missing legs. And then he's just like, I'm just a little dirty. Why don't they just go through the window? There's clearly windows right there with a single two by four covering it. Just pull the two by four off. Is that the one with the big ass blade? Y'all should not mess with him. You see what I said? You see what I said? What, is, uh, what, what does it look like? I mean, it's kind of cool, to be honest. You know what the thing that with the eyes on the top of its head that it's reminded me of? Um, ah, real monsters, the one that like holds its own eyeballs. That's what it's giving. It looks animated though. It looks like it's all CGI. Honestly, to me, it just looks like a giant cartoon. Oh, so the one robot, okay, the first one, she's still alive. Is she gonna find the other one and they're gonna like fall in love and be like the ultimate robot murder couple? Also, she has like half battery. What happens if she runs out of battery? Does she, can she like recharge herself? Does she have like a little, you know, USB-C port in the back of her neck and she just, and just like charges herself up? So she's running from it. Does she not know that she's a robot too? She doesn't see the word live and the battery percentage right there. 
Well, I saw the design for him. I want to see what she looks like. I would like to see it. So she's got like a super gun arm. It looked like there was like a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher or something. Oh, that was her. Poor thing. That is literally the top half of her f***ing head. That was her, right? Oh, for her sake, I hope she doesn't find a mirror. As she immediately walks towards a mirror. Oh, oh, they did you dirty. Who was that? Who said that? Hmm, no. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I know I mentioned season four of Buffy in the last video we did, but this is kind of giving me like Buffy season four too with Adam, just a cybernetic organism that pieced together from different parts and shit. And then he had the big rocket launcher arm with the machine gun. Oh, dope. That was dope. Hello. Oh God, how is she even still alive? Her entire inside is all machine. Is this a dream for you? Yes, just say yes. Yeah, that's what needed to happen. How did she even know how to do that? It, this feels like a video game. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is all giving like very first person shooter video game. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she like clocked him on the head and pulled it for, oh. This is disgusting. I like it though. Don't try to shoot her and maybe you won't die. <laughs> See, just show a little bit of compassion and empathy. Well, assuming he's not leading her into like a fucking airstrike or something, this is very nice of him to help her. Oh no. See, and then there's always gotta be this one motherfucker. You are about to get gutted. Oh no, her battery's running up. Go into low power mode. Turn on the battery saver. What did he just pull out? Her uranium power core? What was that? Uh-oh, uh-oh, something's come. Oh no! That big bitch. What's happening? What's, what, what? Oh, is she gonna get him? Is she gonna get him? Oh, the brain. Maybe if she just, oh uh, yeah, cause remember in the beginning he was like, oh yeah, to preserve the brain. Oh, she's, ah! That's what you needed to do though. Now you gotta kill him, give him some mercy. Oh, she's like, did she die? So the doctor's big plan was to turn people into like human android hybrids, but then he gave them a half a battery charge and called it a day. Oh, no, she's up again. How did she charge herself? Maybe she has a backup power, I don't know. Cause I was gonna say, imagine getting turned into a robot and then they give you the battery life of an android phone. I'm like, oh. You bitch. Spivey, Arsler. Spivey? Spivey. Spivey. Why does that sound? Spivey. Spivey. Spivey point. Spivey point. That's from the fog. I was like, what is that? Like, Spivey. The word Spivey. Spivey point is from the fog. Uh oh. He's uh, engrossed. What the f is this? Where, where are we? I can't, like, it's hard to tell even where they are. So this person's chained to the floor. But are they chained to the rhythm? Oh, well, whoever the hell that was, he's dead. I can't tell like what's hanging. Those aren't teeth, that's too big to be teeth. We, the last decent men of America, are the true patriots who have given blood oath to defend our way of life. We will take back America. We, the first Patriots Movement Militia, are coming for you. Okay, okay. Now we know who we're dealing with. The same bitches that we're dealing with now. What did he just do? Where did he go? What is, what is going on? If we miss our weather window now, we're not gonna get sunlight for a few months, Bob. Weather window. In every uh, sense of the phrase, I am confusion. The, um, the loading dock. Oh, it's the maintenance entrance. My cousin can get us the passcode. Are we about to watch an insurrection? Like, what the f 
What is this? Wait, wasn't that the one that already got shot? Why did we just see him get killed twice? I gotta say, you boys don't fool around. I'm very impressed with the security here. Damn right, we're tight as a fucking drum, right? Shut the f up, Jimmy. You're out of order. Well trained soldiers you got there, Greg. It's air commandant when we are in uniform. Copy that. <laughs> like, this whole conversation is so cringe. Real great operation you got going here. Shut up. This is but an earthly arsenal. What? 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 Like, what is going on? Is anything even horror going to happen in this segment? I literally just feel like I'm sitting here watching a fucking MAGA circle jerk. What is this? And you're certain the weapon works? The creature? Are you certain the weapon works? The creature? So wait a minute, we saw them shoot that guy in the head twice. It wasn't just a repeat? Like, the same person keeps getting shot? Is he, like, immortal or something? I'm trying to, like, piece together, like, what supernatural horror elements are. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's the same one that they already killed. So he must be like immortal or something. If you don't get any on you. You don't know what that shit's gonna do to your skin. They're draining his blood. Pretty cool eyes. This one looks pretty cool. Kind of evil looking. Ooh. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do to the? Oh no! What is that? What is that rabbit? What is that? Leave him alone. He didn't do shit to you. Oh, you can hear the rabbit crying. I don't like that. Two, no. One. Oh no. I don't feel good about this. What did they do to the rabbit? Don't ask. Run, boy! The sun is coming up! Everyone down, down! Ah. Why? What's happening? You get in there! Don't be such a fuck! Ah! What the hell just happened? The rabbit exploded. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is the thing that they have trapped that they keep shooting in the head, is it a vampire? Cause I'm thinking like, so they shoot it in the head and it seemingly regenerates. Oh, wait a minute. And they had crosses. It's a vampire. It's a vampire. Cause they had crosses on the outside of it, right? And they're taking its blood. And then it, with the sunlight, I feel like it's a vampire. Maybe the white things that were hanging outside of the thing that they have it in, maybe the white things, maybe that was garlic. Tonight we will send off proper we will cleanse ourselves before the retribution. We will get cork high and bottle deep. We will get what? Cork high and bottle We're deep? We're gonna get wasted. Oh, like you could have just said that. I don't know if the f I'm trying to speak esoterically, like shut up. I wonder how long this segment is because I'm gonna be real honest with you with this one specifically. <sighs> What is he watching? The vampire? I'm still convinced that it's a vampire. Let's f with him, man. What? Let's f with him. Why? Why would you do that? Why? You don't want to piss on him? Oh, no! What the f is wrong with you, man? Thank you. Uh, let's mess with him. Let's piss. You know what? Welcome to Romance Hour. Yeah, this one. This. I, ho I hope he's the first to go. Friendship! <laughs> <laughs> That's not good though, because they injected the blood into the rabbit and that caused the rabbit to explode at sunlight and he just got blood in his mouth. He's gonna explode or turn into a vampire. I'm gonna laugh if he runs out into the light and immediately explodes. Who's on duty? It's supposed to be me. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry, sure Commander. I'll fix it. Not the commander person, like, complaining that nobody was on duty when he literally just advocated for them all to get completely blackout drunk the night before. Like, what do you think was going... What, like, use your brain. Who were who we missing? Steve. Steve was on desk last night. Well, Steve is dead. Steve is a vampire. Is that you, boy? Karma. <laughs> That's what y'all dumbasses get. Like, what did I just watch? Like, he just shot all of his friends. Like, what the f Vampire, fly! Stop moving! Stop! Yep, vampire. This evil abomination, we are gonna go in there and we're gonna take this creature down. We don't get in there before sundown. We're not gonna be able to do nothing, no ways. This thing's unstoppable at night, come on. Well then lock and fucking load then. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna take America back we're gonna kill this abomination and afterwards we're gonna go for the guys and we're gonna take away the books oh oh damn that just ripped his 
face off. That's an interesting design for the vampire. It kind of, I mean, not completely, but it kind of a little bit reminded me of the vampires from Blade 2. <laughs> Nasty. The shit is nasty. I mean, I don't feel bad for any of them. It's just a little nasty. Okay, so it's just like, what is it? Self immolated, blew itself up in order to kill him too, and just annihilated everything. So watching the videotape removes your eyes somehow. Can't help you now, Slater. Didn't you see that last videotape? I saw you in that last tape. He was on the tape. Does that explain why I found him annoying every single interaction we've had with him? He fits in with the rest of those people. What the f is all of this? I'm so sick of this bitch. This is a far out fetish film cult of bootleggers pushing that untouched, untouchable nastiest of the nasties, snuffing and fluffing cannibals, animals, girls in white suits, Shit up. I don't know what the, the significance of the girls in the white suits were, but I'm here for this. Are you ready for your close-up? Take my picture, Hollywood. I want to be a star. Some help here, Nash. My camera's stuck. In his head? Well, what was his head, anyway? All right, y'all. So that completes VHS 94. Like the prologue and then the little snippets of the in-between, you know, the, with the cops and the, the raid or whatever the hell they were doing. I didn't really understand what was going on with that whole plot point. So I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not gonna comment on that because I, like, I don't understand. So Storm Drain was the, the Ratman Ratma thing. I would say that one was my favorite. And looking at this, it was written and directed by Chloe Okuno. So that makes sense because she's fabulous. Yeah, so that one, I would say was was my favorite. That one had some pretty good jumps. The creature design was a little bit disgusting. It felt very short though, because that, that is one thing that I will say that I did sort of notice depending on the section that we were in. Some of them could have done with being a little bit longer and some of them could have been done with being shortened a little bit. The Storm Drain one, I would have preferred it to be a little bit longer. I highly doubt that they do this, but I kind of would like a return to that story at some point in one of the other movies because the premise of that actually seemed kind of interesting. All right, now let's see. The Empty Wake. I would say that one, like I mentioned when we watched that one, that one had a good setup but I feel like, I don't know. It didn't really go anywhere. I didn't dislike that one. There was just something a little bit missing about that one for me. Now the next one, what was the next one? The subject. So that was like the robot CGI first person video game shooter one. That one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. Scary, no, but it just was an interesting premise with the, the cyborgs and the crazy doctor and everything like that. Despite the fact that I felt like when you actually saw the hybrid people that they looked like straight up cartoons to me because of the CGI. I will say like they did the design of them them did look really cool. So props to that, snaps, 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 snaps for that. And then the last one was called Terror. That one was with the first Patriots Movement Militia. That one was my least favorite. That one falls into the could have been shorter. I felt like we spent too long with what was going on with the militia. I get the concept of like why, you know, they wouldn't immediately start focusing on the vampire or creature, or whatever the hell it was. I'm assuming it was a vampire, but I don't know. Maybe it's just living in 2023. Like hearing those types of people talk is already exhausting as it is. Conceptually, I thought that that segment was cool. I just didn't like having to spend so much time with the militia. The vampire felt like very much so a, not a, I don't want to say afterthought. And it's not necessarily that the vampire had to be a focus of it because I do remember this might have been VHS 2. I remember there was a segment with like a photographer and then at the end of it you find out that it's a werewolf. I feel like that one played out better because just in general at least the way that I view certain things. If you're not gonna really like make the creature the focus of the story until the last like 
three minutes of the story or whatever, then everything else leading up until that needs to be engaging. Like, this is just for me. This is just for me. I'm sure that there's probably plenty of people out there that like this, and that's great. There's a little bit for everybody. For me, I was completely disconnected the first 85% of it until the vampire started vampiring. Looking at the entire thing as a whole, the entire movie, it was good. It's not my favorite of the three that I've watched. I would say, like, it would go in the order. So far, it's VHS, VHS 2, and then VHS 94. I would give this one probably like a B minus, probably. I would say if this one is the one that people were recommending a lot, I can only imagine what the hell is going on with VHS Viral. Y'all were acting like that was like the Halloween resurrection of the franchise. So, but yeah. Overall, very entertaining. Had a couple moments that made me almost shit my pants, which, you know, I kind of like that sort of thing. Let me know what you guys thought about VHS 94 down in the comments, and I will see you next week. <laughs>